Welcome to the No Budget Indie Film Cast, where we dip into the independent film universe to highlight those little films that you might not have heard about elsewhere. Will you agree with our panel, or will our panel agree with each other? Tune in to find out. I am Milo Dennison, and with me, as always, is Claire Milan. Hello. And Cahal Feeney. Hello. All right, Cahal, what's on the agenda this week? This week on the agenda is a short film called The Present, and it's directed by Farah Nabulsi, written by Farah Nabulsi and Hind Shufani, and stars Sela Bakri, Mariam Kanj, and Mariam Basha. So it's a Palestinian film, and it was nominated for an Oscar in 2021. And the director, co-writer Farah Nabulsi is a British uh, Palestinian citizen. She was born in Britain, raised in raised in Britain, and she had Palestinian parents. So uh, it starts off, the film starts off, and you meet the one of the central characters, which is this father figure. And he is he's he's he wakes up at, at the base of this wall, uh, which is the dividing wall between Palestine and or the West Bank, actually, and uh, Israel. Uh, and I, actually, I was a bit confused about this originally. You know, why, why is it, you know, I didn't, I didn't think about it a lot, actually, until afterwards. But I figured out the reason he was there was to get there early, to get to the queue early, to, to cross, cross the checkpoint. Uh, and, you know, at the checkpoint then, you see this, they're like herded like cattle, all the symbolism there as they, uh, you know, cross into Israel and he's going to work and uh, in actual fact a lot of uh, people in the West Bank cross over Israel daily back and forth to work um, so that's that's his sort of like his, his daily routine then we, we see him back at home on the other side and he's with his family and he has a young daughter and a wife and uh, his, his, his sort of countenance is completely different Whereas before he was sort of, you know, stoic and resentful. Uh, now he's, like, you know, he's in the bosom of his family and he's, he's very happy. So it's he has a day off and turns out to be his wife's birthday. So he has to go and buy a present. So he brings his daughter with him, his young daughter, who's eight or nine or something like that. And once again, he has to cross through this checkpoint. And this time it's not so busy. And uh, you know, he, he you know, should be kind of straightforward. It's the usual humiliations are involved. But in, in this instance, he, he sort of gets on the wrong side of one of the guards and the guards decided to make an example of him. And uh, he, he holds him up and puts him in a cage, you know, like, a, like an animal. So he's in the cage and his daughter's outside. And, um, and for her, it's a sort of, a, in a way, She's a very central character in this. So for her, it's, it's a sort of a, a bit of a coming of age where she sees the sort of the humiliation of her father and then the, the reality of being a sort of a Palestinian in this, in this kind of society, this environment. So eventually they get across and they get the present, which turns out to be a fridge. And then they bring it back. They have to bring it back. And then they get back to the checkpoint there wheeling the fridge and again once again there is a sort of a bit of a confrontation with the guard which escalates and then something happens you know there's an event uh and that's that's sort of the story um so it is you know it's it's very well shot very well acted the young the young girl is very is very good uh and it is, it is, it is. I suppose showing the the daily reality of Palestinians, you know, who who kind of live this kind of life, and it's 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 showing. It just shows sort of the alternative story, uh, one that probably we're not used to seeing. The father figure, like I said, you know, he's, you can see like he's, he's very resentful. And underneath, he's seething with anger, but he kind of holds it in for the sake of his his family. Uh, but you can you can see how 
without you know just finding any way how, how people would be kind of sent over the edge um but so it's 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 quite a powerful piece from that point of view yeah it really is and and even like the way to start how packed in they are in in the little the place they have to cross like like animals and it's it's a very powerful film because you no know, normally if we want to go to the shop you just go up the road and we don't even think about it but when he wants to go to the shop he's to cross through this checkpoint with these Israeli guards and to be interrogated. And they do that for fun. And even with the daughter, I was so worried throughout the film, something would happen to the daughter or to him or something. And, and even for the mother to let the daughter go is very brave, you know, because it, it was just kind of a frightening experience to go through. And in one part, um, she's there waiting for her father so long because he's held in this, this cage that she wets herself, you know, and, and it's just so sad, but there's such a beautiful bond between the father and the daughter. And it's it's so close, and and it's like this is a, it's like she's growing up in this day. She's seeing what the reality is of living in in the West Bank. I think it's the West Bank, isn't it? It is the West I Bank. Yeah. West Bank, um, and and just simplicity of just not having the freedom just to go to the shop to buy a fridge, and to be questioned. Like, like I know myself, I have no idea what that is like. You know, it's like people in in North of Ireland would have experienced that. But down in the Republic of Ireland, we wouldn't have. And I have no idea what that's like. It must be absolutely horrific. Um, but yeah, the acting was absolutely brilliant. Um, he actually reminded me, uh, the, the lead male actor of the male model, the really good looking guy. He's in, uh, what's his name? Uh, I don't know his surname, but he's in one of the perfume ads. He looks very similar. <laughs> so he's really good looking, this, this lead actor. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, does help <laughs> in the story. <laughs> But uh, I, yeah, I just thought it was beautiful even to start with the wife and just there's a lot of love there, even though there's a lot of conflict in the background and terror and just just the way the Israeli soldiers just look down at him and just abuse and bully him. And for the daughter to witness that, it's so sad, but it's such a beautiful story. And in one way, it's, it's, it's very, the locations are very simple and it's used to such great effect because they could have made it really complicated with putting in loads of different people and stuff. But it really, the central narrative of it is really simple that with the location, but extremely powerful. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, it was interesting because uh, at, at the beginning, I honestly wasn't really enjoying it. The whole bit with the family at the home, I didn't see the need for the camera movement when the guy's in the bed and stuff, which was kind of annoying. I'm like, why are they doing this? There's no drama here. Like it's unnecessary. Uh, and, and it was a bit cheesy with the, the the husband and the wife and stuff. But then when you get to the border stuff, yeah. that's really where this film picks up for me, I think. And, um, and yeah, and to realize that people have to go through this every day, that opening sequence with the, you know, the cattle car, basically, of mm -hmm. trying to get through the border, that's authentic. I mean, people have to go through that every day. And they'll, they'll get there at like two, three in the morning in order to try to get through that line. Uh, so so you, you definitely feel sympathetic that they have to go through this just to work or yeah. get groceries and that kind of stuff. Um, it, it's interesting because like, I, I get frustrated. I can, this guy's frustration is funny yeah. because he used to do this all the time. And you could just, this is the quality of his performance too, is you could sense like the anger and the frustration, but trying to hold it back and not lash out. And, and, and just going into Ireland for me when I was living in Ireland oh, okay. and they're like, you know, uh, do you have your residency card? What are you doing here? Why do you work here? And like, trying to prove that I'm I legitimately lived there and I and I remember one time I kind of snapped at the guy and I'm like what what do you what do you think I'm gonna try to illegally sneak into <laughs> Ireland for you know like what, what why are you like giving me such a hard time and in the fact that this is so much ex more extreme than anything I've ever had to go through and mm. my tiny little bit of frustration compared to what he has to go through the people these I shouldn't say him I mean so many people have to go through on a daily basis is just amazing so that that emotional impact of this film is really really well done yeah I I was I was there like a few years ago really? I remember a few weeks before I'd been there 
there was uh, this woman had been shot, actually killed at one of those borders. And uh, she was, I think she was pregnant. And uh, I think they were calling her to stop and she didn't stop uh, for some reason. But, uh, you know, you're, you're basically, you know, you, your, your life is in danger if you do or say or act the wrong way, say the wrong thing or act the wrong way. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Um, it's, it's really sad. It's really, it's really sad to see how people treat other people. I mean, these, these, you know, the border guards, it's like, dude, your job is to check, make sure they're legit and send them on through. Like, why do you I was so nervous for them. And you know, it's interesting that the little girl left her coat behind in the shop. Yeah. She went to, oh, yeah. and I don't, for reason, that kind of made me feel very uneasy. The fact she left the coat behind, I don't know why, but it was just like, it's not easy to go back and get it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just something a bit nervous, maybe feel nervous. I don't know why that thing, but yeah, it, it just shows you what life is like over there. And again, we've no idea. Really. And, and also just with regard to those border guards, they're probably uh, you know, on edge. They too. are. It's, it's compulsory, isn't it? Over there, compulsory military it's, service. It's military compulsory. Service. Yeah. I mean, you can, yeah. you can, you can opt out, but I think you, you have to go to jail then. Uh, so I mean, you can say that is a choice still, uh, yeah. but um, yeah, like you could see, like some of them were a bit more. One of the characters was kind of saying, "Ah, you yeah. know, fine, just you know, I know the guy let him through," and one of the other guys would be more of a a dick about it. So uh, you you do get your your sort of your different points of view there, uh, yeah, within the guards. And you know what? That's a really brilliant script writing there because sometimes when you have goodies and baddies, they can be too good or too bad. But the fact that the border guards, there's one of them saying like, listen, like, you know, just maybe just let him go. It was just a lovely kind of little character things like that, which mm -hmm. makes it kind of more real, you know, than mm -hmm. some films you've seen. <laughs> so. And it also, it's, it's a power trip for them. Yeah. And it is. like, it, it is, it is a kind of a policy too, because you know that that the Israelis they want to make life as difficult as possible, you know, for for the Palestinians so they leave. You know, I mean that's yeah that's their ultimate, you know, in, intention is just to, these these small humiliations, this constant sort of bullying that people will just get fed up and it's not worth it. Uh, and I know just just as a just as a sort of a, you know a brief little kind of history lesson. Uh, that checkpoint is is uh, is not the actual official border. The um, the, the that's uh, like the official border was was not, is known as the Green Line, which was the uh, the UN sanctioned border from nineteen forty nine, and then uh, there was a there was a six day war in nineteen sixty seven, which was between Israel, uh, Egypt, Jordan, and Syria, and. Uh, after that war, which Israel won, they uh, they took over what's known that we now know as the occupied territories, which is the West Bank, Gaza Strip, and the Golan Heights. And the uh, Jerusalem, for instance, the Green Line went through Jerusalem. And it was kind of east and west Jerusalem, and uh, then the kind of the, the wall that they built between Israel and the and the uh, the West Bank actually you know goes around Jerusalem so they've sort of more or less annexed the uh, the whole city now and they sort of you know moved into a bit of the West Bank which is makes it kind of controversial all right well on that note <laughs> let's review the film okay. uh Claire okay so for me it was a really powerful film and I I thought it was absolutely terrific acting especially from the little girl and it kind of left me thinking a lot and very nervous and and so grateful for my own freedom, my own life. So I'm going to give it five stars. Yeah, uh, I'm very close to a five star, but uh, because of that opening bit that I didn't much care for, I'm going to drop it down to four. But okay. still, definitely worth seeing. So for any for any aspiring you know filmmakers out there, uh, if you want to get a good rate from Milo, don't do shaky camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. That's some, that's some so free true. advice there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, um, yeah, look, it was a very powerful film, uh, and 
it, it does come a different side of sort of the situation in uh, Palestine slash Israel. So, uh, but I will give it, it's not quite, quite right up there, you know, so I'm going to give it four and a half. All right. Uh, I, sh- I should add to that, if the shaky cam's relevant to what's happening on scene, yeah. I'm okay with it. And with that, we will say we seem to like this film and we think you should check it out as well. It's called The Present. You can see it on Netflix at the moment and check it out. Let us know what you think via comment, reaching out to us on social media. We're on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at No Budget Show. And we'll say, see you next time to see what we're watching. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.